Armory Disc Golfers, welcome back to another video. Throwing a disc isn't easy, but it can be simple. Let's get into it. So today's video is pretty short and simple, and it's based around the premise that this position right here is overpowered. It's not balanced, and it should probably be nerfed because you don't have to be fast, you don't have to be strong, you don't have to be big, you don't even have to be particularly flexible. As long as you get to this point right here, then you can guarantee that you're going to get snap on your disc, that you're gonna be able to throw far, and that you're gonna be able to throw accurate. But until God patches it in the next physics update or whatever, getting to here, is where you need to be. The problem is, is that people are so excited to get to this point and then to launch a disc into the stratosphere or whatever, that instead of actually getting to this point, you end up doing all sorts of crazy things like wrapping the disc around your body, pulling through too high, bending your feet out of whack, and on and on and on. My advice to you today is to slow down just the first half of your throw. Your throw is all about building up momentum to one final snap point. You don't have to throw as hard as you can from full extension. It is okay, it's actually good, it's what you should be doing, to start slowly here, and then as you get into this position, now whip out of it at the end. There was a shot that Eagle McMahon threw at d -Glow where it looked like the dude was going to fall asleep on the tee pad during his run up. He just goes super slow and then just freaking rifles, like a 475 foot forehand or something like that. And I know that forehands aren't exactly what we're talking about in today's video, but the idea is the same. You get yourself into a position where you can be powerful and then you snap at the very end. Having the first half of your throw being fast doesn't make you throw farther, and I'll prove it. I've got two discs. The first one, I'm gonna throw really fast in the first half of my pull through, and the second one, I'm gonna throw really slow in the first half of my pull through. Now that's ridiculous, but it's really not because that same thing is happening in your throw just scaled out. The first half of your throw is not where the disc is thrown. The second half of your throw is where the disc is thrown. So you can be going as fast as you want from here to here, but if it doesn't translate into good form, good position, and speed from here to here, then you're really just setting yourself up for failure. Whereas if you slow down just a little bit and ensure that you get to this power pocket position, now you can explode out of that and throw the disc farther, more consistently, and more accurately. You know plenty enough about disc golf form. You know not to wrap the disc around your body. You know where your feet should be. You know to keep the disc lower as you're pulling through to keep the nose angle down and so many other things. And you just throw those out the window because you're so excited to throw the disc as hard as you can that you end up costing yourself distance and accuracy and control. Calm down a little bit, slow down a little bit, and throw the disc like you know you should. I mean, you're not wrong. Thank you. This guy. So that's what I've got for you today. Slow down the first half of your throw, explode the second half of your throw, throw some bombs. If this helped you out, leave a like down below, subscribe so you can catch more content, and get out there, relax a little bit, and unleash it. I'll see y'all in the next one.